President-elect Joe Biden won the election by a considerable margin in both the electoral and popular votes. And a deep dive investigation by the media said any claims of widespread voter fraud seem to be baseless. But it seems that the White House is ignoring the eviction notice. And, and here's what Secretary Mike Pompeo said yesterday. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. And I am very confident that we will have a good transition, uh, that we will make sure that whoever is in office on noon on January 20th has all the tools readily available so that we don't skip a beat with the capacity to keep Americans safe. That's what I was speaking to today. Yeah. Now, of course, the president-elect Joe Biden isn't buying any of this. Check his clip out. So far, there is no evidence of any of the assertions made by the president or Secretary of State Pompeo. <laughs> I just think it's an embarrassment, um, quite frankly. How can I say this uh, tactfully? I, I think it will not help the president's legacy. So here's what you should know. This is where things stand, according to ABC. Biden has 279 electoral votes. You know who has 217. Biden has over 5 million more votes than you know who. Biden uh, is leading in Georgia by 14,000, leading in Arizona by 12,000, leading in Pennsylvania by 45,000, leading in Michigan by 148,000, and 20,000 in Wisconsin. So what do you make of all these crazy moves by the White House? I mean, with all this information here. And I want him, of course, to count all the ballots. You know, I, I, I just happen to find this one, so I'm just going to put this aside and mail it tomorrow. <laughs> but what do you think is really going on here, Sonny? <laughs> Well, we know that uh, they're, they're really, um, that the legal challenges seem to be uh, without merit. Um, and any recount isn't going to change those wide margins that uh, you, you just mentioned, Whoopi. And, and it just seems to me that maybe this is about raising money to erase Trump's campaign debt that many believe he may have personally guaranteed. Um, contributions to this sort of recount effort are split evenly between the recount effort, the legal um, challenges, as well as to erase campaign debt. And so the campaign, we know, has millions of email addresses, right? So even if, if a fraction of those people start giving money, the campaign could mm -hmm. raise millions of dollars a day. Right. So in my mind, you know, you can't raise money for a legal challenge that is over when you admit concession. Right. So I, I think this may be right. one of a, a remaining grift for, for the Trump administration and for right. the Trump family. I, I think that this may be all what about you, money yet again. Right. What do you say, Sarah? I mean, it, it, is it something that's worrying you? Does any of what Sonny's saying sound feasible, or is it just more blather? Um, I'm taking my cues from President-elect Joe Biden, and he is not worried about this, mm -hmm. so either am I. We, we're not surprised this is happening. Uh, in fact, we were warned of just this type of activity by the president himself. So we've known for months this is how this was going to play out. But in the press conference yesterday, I loved how Joe Biden, his tone was exemplary and consistent with his language. He kept getting questions thrown at him. Do you, is it a problem you don't have your transition funds? Uh, will you take legal action? What about all the GOP that aren't acknowledging your victory? One by one, he said he's not concerned. And he even, uh, he even recognized that the GOP is in a precarious position because they're being intimidated by the incumbent president. And I just thought even mm -hmm. saying there's only one president at a time, that he said, you know, I'm not the president right, right. now. There is a president. I, January 20th, I'll be sworn in. He kept focusing on moving forward. And I just, his, his, it's all of what we've been missing. There's even a moment where he says, how do I say this right. tactfully? And I thought... How long has it been since we heard a president care about how he worded something? But um, what, right. who, you know, the person who seems bothered by all this is the president. His defeat right. quarantine seems to have lasted longer than his actual quarantine. So uh, we saw him more right. when he had an infectious virus than we have lately. Right. So uh, <laughs> my question is, where's President Trump? Yeah. So, Anna, what do you think? I mean, that's a, a valid question. Where, where is he? Um, maybe he's in the bunker that he said Joe was in. Who cares? But, Anna, what do you think is going on here? 
Uh, look, uh, where this is headed is uh, Joe Biden is going to be the 46th president of the United States. The states are going to finish counting. They're going to certify it. The mm -hmm. electors are going to vote. But, uh, and Joe Biden will be president. At the same time, Donald Trump is not going away. He needs to continue the grift. Mm -hmm. He's going to continue doing rallies. He's going to continue talking for years about how the elections were robbed because it's all he has. And it's mm -hmm. all his family of grifters have. I mean, what do you think? You think they can go back to New York and go back to the Met Gala? No. Do you think that they're going to go <laughs> be happy going back to selling uh, condos in Aventura? No. They need to keep this up so they can, you know, be selling books and giving speeches and having holding rallies right. and taking money from naive donors who are going to believe this story that the elections were fraudulent. There is no evidence of fraud. Zero. There is right. no evidence of fraud, and Joe Biden is the next president, and uh, Donald Trump is going to have a cow and a tantrum and behave like a man baby uh, for as long right. as he possibly can. <laughs> so, Joy, when we come back, we're going to go to you. Oh, wait a minute. I have to pull this out of my shirt. Oh, look, it's another <laughs> ballot. My goodness, they're everywhere. <laughs>